I don't remember exactly when I got the Amex Platinum credit card. Seven years? Maybe eight years? I'm not really sure. But what I know for sure is, back then, the annual fee was only $450. Then, it went up to $550. And now it's $695, which comes down to almost $58 a month just to hold this card. So, should you get this credit card? Right away, I will say no, you should not. Unless you travel a lot, because that's where reside its real value. But it has plenty of other amazing benefits that I will talk about in this video. You are watching the Financial Coffee Channel? Let's get into this. To be honest with you, there are times when I completely forget that I have this credit card, simply because I only use it to book a flight or a hotel. So, if you are looking for a credit card that gives you generous cash back on stuff like groceries, gas, or restaurant, there are way better credit cards out there, such as the Amex Blue Cash Prefer. I travel several times a year, mostly to Europe and Canada, where I have family. And that's really why I keep this card. But if you are just a regular person who doesn't travel that much, I would not recommend getting this card because travel perks are the best way to truly enjoy its benefit. That being said, this credit card has some amazing benefits that I have to talk about in this video. Number one, the $200 Uber Cash Credit. With this card, you will get $15 of Uber Cash Credit every single month. That's on top of a $20 bonus you get in December, making it for a total of $35 in credit for that single month. I just have to point out that this credit has to be used within the calendar month, and you can roll them over to the next month. But you can definitely use them both on Uber Ride and Uber Eat orders. To get the credit, all you have to do is go into the Uber app and add your Amex Platinum card as a payment method within your account. And boom, just like that, at the beginning of each month, you will get the credit into your account. I only use Uber when I'm traveling, so I don't really use Uber that much. So if you don't use Uber that much, you won't find any value in it. On the other hand, if you use Uber Eats on a regular basis, especially on the night where you don't want to cook, you will love this credit card. That's because you can pay the Uber Eats delivery fees with the $15 credit that you get each month. Number two, the $240 digital entertainment credit. This comes in the form of up to $20 entertainment credit on your account every single month for the following services. Disney Plus, Audible, Hulu, ESPN Plus, Peacock, Cyrus XM, and even the New York Times for people who still read newspapers. To get this credit, make sure to enroll first, and to do this is very simple. Go to your benefit tab in your Amex account, then click on the digital entertainment credit benefit, and finally click enroll. Once that is done, you will have to pay for the service using your Amex credit card. You will then get a statement credit for the charges by the end of your bidding cycle. Depending on what you like, you can mix and match those subscriptions. In my case, I love Hulu and Peacock. So as you can see here, they credited me back for the charge that I made on Hulu and Peacock. If you would rather use USPN Plus or Disney Plus, you will have a different configuration. Just remember that you have $20 of entertainment credit to mix and match every month as you please. Do you love shopping like I do? Because if you do, the next benefit might be just for you. Number 3. Saks Fifth Avenue Credit There is a $100 shopping credit that you get with Saks Fifth Avenue. You have to use this credit by annually, meaning you can use $50 for the first 6 months of the year and $50 in the back half of the year. I normally use $50 bucks from January to June and then the other $50 from July to December. To be honest with you, a lot of the stuff that they sell at Saks Fifth Avenue tend to be a bit more expensive. But I have seen offer for $50 off your purchase this month. When you combine it with the $50 settlement credit that you have, you can end up saving $100 on the purchase. Number 4. The Lounge Access This benefit is one of my favorites. I also had a very long layover in Turkey. In Istanbul, the Turkish Airline Lounge allowed me to take a shower, brush my teeth, have some delicious Turkish food and drink for free, and then take a long nap before my next flight. The staff treat me like I was some kind of celebrity. In my opinion, this is where I make shine above everything else. If you fly to an airport with Centurion Lounge, this is going to be a card you must have. Because these are some of the best lounges that you are going to find domestically. The American Express Platinum also gives you gold statues at Hilton as well as Marriott. You also get Priority Pass Select, which gives you access to over 1,300 lounges worldwide for the Priority Pass membership. It comes with free food, 
free drink, free Wi-Fi. You can definitely catch up with some work in the lounges because they are very comfortable and quiet. And the next up is number five, the $200 hotel credit. To use this, all you have to do is book through the Amex Hotel Collection or Amex Fine Hotel Resort Portal. And you will get a $200 settlement credit on your purchase every single year. The access to this is very simple, guys. Just go to amextravel.com and then sign into your Amex account. It's super easy to use and the prices are usually about the same as what you will find on Google. But the best part is, if you decide to book through the Amex Fine Hotel Resort Program, for example, you will get additional benefits that you wouldn't get through your normal booking, such as Expedia. And that brings us to the next benefit. Number six, the Amex Fine Hotel and Resorts. I use this plenty of time. I normally look at hotel on this list first and foremost before booking my travel. And that's because the benefits have been so good to me. You get 12 p.m. check-in, a guaranteed 4 p.m. check-out, complimentary Wi-Fi, daily breakfast for two, which is normally about $60 a day, $100 experience credit and room upgrade when available. So just like that, you have $240 in benefit. Number seven, the $200 airline credit fee. Now let's look at the $200 airline credit fee. This one has some very specific limitations that you need to be aware of. First of all, you have to pick an airline to link this credit with, which is very simple. Then go to your benefit tab where you can link with your airline of choice. And then you get a $200 in the settlement credit on airline fee charge every single year. Now to be more specific, this is only for fees and it's not for ticket prices. So if you pay for a seat change, check back or in-flight entertainment and amenities, you will be eligible for a settlement credit. Let's say that you choose American Airlines at the start of the year, but decide that you want to fly with Delta instead. If you haven't used any of the credit yet for the year, you should be able to switch the airline partner that you are using. But once you have used some of that credit, you won't be able to change it afterwards. Also, keep in mind that at the beginning of the new year, you get the opportunity to pick a new airline. Number 8. Global Entry and TSA Pre-Check This benefit is only for international travel. For those who don't know, it just allows you to get easier entry into the country by skipping line and paperwork as well as typically expediting the entry process with the customer agent. It's a $100 credit with Global Entry or TSA Pre-Check. You will get a $100 settlement credit every 5 years for Global Entry or an $85 credit on a 5-year TSA Pre-Check membership. I would recommend that you use this on Global Entry. Simply because if you get approved for it, you will automatically get TSA pre-check anyways. So that's a free bonus. And finally, number 9 and 10, the purchase protection and the return protection. American Express Platinum also offer purchase protection. Yes, I know that these days, most credit cards offer it. But this is why Amex is so special. It covers up to $10,000 for items that are stolen, damaged or lost. For example, let's say that you lost something you bought less than 90 days ago with your American Express Platinum credit card. All you have to do is file a claim with Amex Platinum and you are covered up to $10,000. It also has a return protection, which is one of my favorites. Basically, imagine that you buy an item from somewhere and you try to return it and they say no. But it's within 90 days of the purchase. Amex will typically cover up to $300, meaning they will refund you the amount you spend as long as it costs less than $300. In conclusion, to me, these 10 benefits are, in my opinion, the most important. There are a lot more benefits that I offer, but that I didn't mention, such as the Amex Concierge, the Hilton Emerald Status, the Rental Car Status, the Equinox Gym Credit, or the Clear Credit. It all depends on your personal choices and preferences. You might find some of my choices not valuable to you at all. It's all subjective to you and to what you like. And like I said in the beginning of this video, travel is the only way to get the most value out of this credit card. You definitely don't want to use it for everyday transactions like gas or groceries simply because it doesn't provide you with the best bang for your buck now if you want to know about the five other credit cards that are excellent for travel check out this video that appear on the screen right now that is all for today i hope you got some value from watching this video thank you for watching the financial coffee channel and i'll see you next time goodbye